I am so excited for this series, y'all. It's gonna keep me accountable. It's gonna keep me in line. It's gonna keep me honest with you guys. This is my Getting Back on Track series. It's a mini series, probably about three or four episodes, but I wanna take you guys through the month of October with me as I get back on track. <laughs> That's pretty much the basis of everything. If you watch a few of the previous vlogs, then you know September was not the most consistent month for me when it came to training. I traveled some. It was also my birthday month, so I had a birthday party and celebrations. I also had food poisoning right before my birthday party for about four days, so that slowed me down some. And then I've just been feeling very, very fatigued throughout September, and now it's time. It's time for me to get back into my bag, get back on track with uh, my programming, get back on track with eating, everything, all of it. And so I want to take you guys through the month with me as I try to be as consistent as possible. Now, I did make a few notes on some of the things that I wanted to talk about. This is not going to be restrictions. Like, there aren't going to be a lot of restrictions to this. I don't want to come up with things like no sugar, no chips. I am open to anything. Like, I still want to very much have balance and moderation in these 31 days because that's realistic. I hope that makes sense. Like if I was to remove so many things right now, that's not something that's sustainable over the next two or three years. So whatever I do, I want to always be uh, sustainable. My focus is to think about the things that I can have versus the things that I can't have. Think about the things that my body actually wants and the things that are going to fuel me versus thinking about, oh, I can't have, you know, um, french fries or I can't have, I don't know, chocolate i love chocolate and when my time of the month comes on this month i'm probably going to have chocolate and that's okay i do really want to focus on having high protein meals of course a lot of whole foods drinking plenty of water getting a lot of sleep at least at minimum seven hours of sleep a night because how else do i expect my body to function the way i need it to how how else do i expect to go in and lift heavy weight how else do i plan to get everything i done i need done in a day if i'm not getting the sleep that i need as well i can't rely just on coffee or just on pre-workout i have to actually allow my body time to rest and recover also as a reminder i quit powerlifting in august i only powerlift for three months from may into august but they were some of the most intense lifts i've ever 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 done um it was a fun time but afterwards my body was like really really tired after i decided to give it up in august and i just want to get back to having fun because from august until now i didn't have a gym anymore i canceled my memberships i've been working out downstairs it's not as motivating because i'm at home all day every day and then i go right downstairs to work out so i have been looking for a gym and yesterday i went and i think i actually found a gym that's motivating i actually felt really really good when i was there yesterday so we're gonna see i just want to make lifting fun again i want to make working out i want to make training fun again and my program i'm very excited about is it. a very hybrid program so i want to be strength training i'm going to be doing plyometrics and power training you know just going for long walks just getting outside and getting movement my big goal for these 31 days is just to move every single day in some capacity. It doesn't have to be high intensity. It could be low, steady state, walking outside, on a treadmill, whatever, for 30 minutes minimum per day. And so I'm very excited to take you guys on this journey. You guys will see what my weeks look like, what my workouts look like from day to day, um, the things that I'm eating. I'm going to show you guys what I'm meal prepping for the week. I'm also going to weigh myself in just a few minutes and also just give you guys a physique update, update. Like what do I look like right now? And then we'll take a look and see what I look like at the end of August as well. This is August? No, October. Oh my gosh. Have I been saying August the whole time? At the end of October. Wow. Yeah, let me see if there's anything else I want to share. So I guess without further ado, I kind of need I kind of need to let you guys see what I look like right now and also what my weight is. I have not weighed myself probably in a year and a half, if not two years. I just don't pay that much attention to the scale, but I know it's something that people like to ask and wonder about. So not only am I going to take photos and do visuals of myself, you can also see um, what I weigh. Also, I do want to get back into running. I'm not going to go full force. I know I'm not a runner, at least not yet, but I want to start getting back into it. So again, it's a very hybrid program. I just want to have fun with it because why not? But let's go ahead and take a look at me. Okay, I hope you guys can see me. I'm pretty sure you can. All right, so this is me right now, okay? Very much not flex, very much this is just what I look like when I wake up. I haven't had anything to drink. Um, and then this is, whoop, and this is very much so me flexed.
And more than anything, I'm really nervous about what I'm about to do. Get on the scale. My goal is to weigh in every Sunday, maybe? Since today is Sunday? Let's see. Now, I am going to um, black out or like blur out my toes because y'all, they look terrible. Can you guys see it? Okay. Um, I've never seen that on the scale before. And surprisingly, it's like I want to be mad about it, but for what and why? So technically, this is the heaviest I've ever been on the scale in my life. But I actually like am pretty okay with how I feel and look. How does that work? I don't know, but I'm not going to let it get to me because, okay, it's really just a number anyway. I didn't expect for it to say that. I did expect for it to say 190 something. I think mentally I would feel better if it said 190 something. But what difference does 0.9 pounds make if it had just told me I was 199.9? I don't know, but I'm not gonna let this get to me. Um, because for what? Anywho, we are going to meal prep today. So stick around for that, please and thank you. I'm actually really excited to do some different-ish type things. So I'll get back with you guys when it's time to meal prep. But not flossy, uh, the streets didn't taught me, uh, but we're too bossy, uh, we don't tread softly, uh, but not flossy, uh, the streets didn't taught me. It is meal prep time, and I can't really say that I'm excited about it because I don't enjoy meal prepping, but I know in the long run, it saves me so much time. It keeps me on track a lot better. So I'm gonna make it happen. Uh, we are having chicken and salmon bowls slash like lettuce wraps this week for lunch and dinner. First things first, the chicken I'm gonna cook. But y'all, I wanna make my own like honey barbecue. And I'm gonna be honest, I did a quick search just now. I don't know if this is the correct way or not, but all I'm gonna do is mix barbecue with honey. Yes, I probably could have just bought honey barbecue. But here we are. The chicken is already clean and seasoned. It's been sitting for a while. So it's nice and I guess marinating it. But first I'm gonna make this uh, dip. I did this sauce, whatever. You keep it natural, stay in your bag like you wearing satchels. Hey, baby, you a godsend, 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 you're missing the sandals. But still, you ain't missing much. Put your hands on my back, just a different touch. Put your to my plate, I don't skip the lunch, I don't skip the brunch, not the dinner leader. And we had the close, not a centimeter. Getting in between is all you two turned up. Never turned down though, when it's big energy, when I come around though. So, 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 don't ever switch. No, you've been looking, won't find it like this. No, you've been looking for the head of them curves. I'm Jimmy Johnson with this. Uh, I'm Jimmy Johnson with this. That I adjust, I like grinding it. Just like a last woman, I run. Whatever you need, I'm trying to lie with this. Uh, turn on the lights, take a flick. Uh, just don't be running this shit. Hey, I can see you as my kid. Uh, I can see you as my kid. While the chicken is cooking, I'm going to start preparing the red onions because I'm going to make um, pickled onions. Honestly, this should have been done like yesterday because you kind of want them to sit overnight, at least like two nights in my opinion. I'm also going to go ahead and preheat the oven because I'm making shrimp beans as well. Multitasking, multitasking, multitasking. It saves so much time. So I only ended up cutting up one red onion, purple onion, whatever. And it's better to do this in like a mason jar or something that's like uh, vacuum sealed, airtight, that's the word. But this is all I have. So I'm going to just use this. Also, there is like an official, there are official recipes online, but I'm going off vibes, okay? Vibes, all you need is some white vinegar, some pure cane sugar, some salt and water. And honestly, I'm just gonna like, fill it out what is my heart saying how much should i put all right pickled onions are good to go now the one thing i do know for sure is you want to make sure that the vinegar and water covers it completely so i'm going to put these in the refrigerator to sit for the next day i'm probably gonna eat them tomorrow because it's a part of meal prep but normally like two days you want them to be to be sitting in the vinegar and water the oven is not ready for the stream beans yet but i'm gonna go ahead and put them on a tray and i just got these stream beans right here the ones that are considered you know already washed and ready or whatnot and i'm just gonna throw a little bit of oil on them some salt and pepper Yum. i might not put any season on it because hear me out they're going to be on i don't know i'm gonna lightly season them i stick those in the oven for just like 12 15 minutes nothing too crazy i don't want them super soft holding them still kind of crunchy oh wait before i forget also jasmine rice 
I don't even think I broke it down to you guys. So the, the chicken salmon bowls are gonna basically have like jasmine rice in it as like the carb, carrots because they're pretty and vibrant. Um, string beans for like the green. We have the pickled onions, chicken and salmon obviously for um, protein. Feta cheese is gonna end them. And then that's when I wanna make that dressing. I wanna use the lime and stuff. I have to look up the recipe to make the actual dressing. It, this chicken looks I need barbecue now y'all don't have to believe me but I do my thing when it comes to cooking jasmine rice it's like perfect do y'all want to know the secret because I don't mind sharing so for every one cup of jasmine rice I use one and one fourth cup of water now that's not the whole tea once the rice is boiling immediately like once it starts boiling and like you see the little fuzz like you gotta get it has to get a good amount of fuzz on there like the white stuff then you drop the temperature real low you put it on low you make sure you put the um this back on top and then you do not disturb it you do not take it off you do not mix the rice around you do not stir it you don't do any of that you leave it alone for eight minutes for eight minutes you cut it off, you remove the uh, top, and it's like perfect, perfect rice. Don't believe me, try it out. The rice just finished. I'm gonna try to look at this. You see that? Look how perfect the rice is. Like little snowflakes. Perfection. Streamings are done, rice is done. I'm currently still cutting up the chicken, but doesn't it look so good? It does, you can you can say it. And the crazy part is I've only been cooking for 40 minutes. Like, I'm not even lying. I asked my boyfriend, I was like, what time did I start? He said around 6.20, it's now 7.01. I've only been cooking for 40 minutes. The chicken is completely done. Almost everything is done outside of the lemon juice. I mean, the lime juice, the lime whatever. That's the only thing left. Oh, and the salmon. Mmm, you got me there, the salmon. But this saves so much time. I couldn't imagine cooking every day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I just, I'm just keeping it real. Like I can cook for one, maybe two, but all three every single day, absolutely not. To have this all done in probably like an hour, and the cleanup is super easy. An hour, an hour and 15 max. Let me get back to work. Everything is pretty much done except for the salmon. I just put it in the oven for about 20 minutes on 400. Um, I changed my mind about the lemon, the lemon squeezedness. I just don't have it in me right now. I feel like it, but I will be using the rest of this uh, signature Italian dressing to drizzle over the bowl. That's gonna be good. Um, then also, like I told you guys earlier, I have these matchstick carrots. These are gonna go in the bowl. Feta cheese. Perfect. And then I was kind of thinking, right? So for the bowls, I know I've said bowls like 500 times, but this can also be a base. So you can put uh, the spinach down and then some rice on top and then start adding everything to it. Or you can just do it by itself. But then also for the lettuce wraps, which are right here, you can dip a little rice in there if you want as a base. Or I also plan to eat red potatoes on the side. So you kind of have that option too. But look at this food. It looks so good. Come on, rice. Beautiful. Streamings, yeah. And that chicken, of course. This is perfect. This is easy. An hour? Okay, and we'll say an hour and a half because I still have 20 minutes for the um, salmon to cook, but what? Easy peasy. Lemon's crazy. That's pretty much it for the meal prep when it comes to cooking these red potatoes if i do decide to it's super easy 20 minutes in the air fryer and they're done i will probably pop on tomorrow just to show you guys an actual bowl and or lettuce wrap so you can see it in person ish but that's meal prep done getting to it as promised it's the next day it's lunchtime and the bowl is all put together let me show you i mean take a look at that absolutely beautiful a masterpiece if you will we have our rice a bit of spinach on the bottom string beans um pickled onions carrots feta cheese and honey barbecue chicken also drizzled with italian dressing from olive garden i am quite literally about to destroy this bowl I'm so hungry, I just finished working out. And this is the perfect like thing to refuel with. I got my protein, I got my carbs, got my vegetables in there, like we good. A few healthy fats, 
we're good. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to episode one of Getting Back on Track. Hopefully next week I can bring you guys a week of workouts and a few more things. But thank you for following along and I'll see you guys later.